Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kalita and today we're going to talk about some super effective tips for the reading portion of the IELTS test. Whether you're taking the academic or general version of the test, these strategies will help you improve your reading skills and boost your score. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The IELTS reading section can be challenging, but with the right techniques, you can tackle it confidently. First, let's talk about the structure of the test. The reading section is 60 minutes long and consists of 40 questions. Each question is worth one mark on the answer sheet. So if you want a score of seven, you will need to answer 30 questions correctly. You'll have three passages to read with a total average of 2,000 to 2,750 words. These passages are not specialized and they come from places like books and magazines, although the texts are written at a university level. At least one of the passages will have a detailed argument that you will need to answer questions on. Ideally, you will spend about 20 minutes on each of the reading passages for a total of 60 minutes. Keep in mind that you need to write your answers on the answer sheet within the 60 minutes that are given. In general, each passage will have 13 or 14 questions, usually broken into two or three sets of question types. Overall, there are 11 types of questions and you could see any of them, although you likely won't see all of them. The questions are designed to test a range of reading skills, including skimming, scanning, and reading for detail. This section does not require that you apply your own knowledge and all of the answers will be in the text and they will also follow the order of the text. It may seem self-explanatory, but make sure that you read all of the instructions carefully before starting to answer anything. Now, let's break down some tips to help you ace this section. Tip number one, skim for the main ideas. Before you start trying to answer any of the questions, take a minute to skim the passage. This means quickly reading through to get a general idea of what it's about. Don't worry about understanding every word. Just focus on the main points and the overall structure. You can read it more carefully once you know the questions that you are looking for answers to. For example, if the passage is about climate change, your skimming might reveal that the first paragraph discusses the causes, the second paragraph covers the effects, and the third talks about potential solutions. This will help you know where to look when you are answering the questions. Before you read through the text to find answers, make sure that you read the questions first so that you know what answers you are looking for. Then, when you are reading the passage through, make sure that you practice reading quickly and marking down the correct answers when you can. Make sure that you also mark any important words as you read by highlighting or underlining them so that you can quickly reference them again if you need to. Tip number two, scan for specific information. When you scan, you are looking for particular details like dates, names, or keywords from the questions. This helps you locate the exact part of the passage that contains the answer. For example, let's say you have a question about the year a certain event happened. You would scan the passage for numbers, which are easier to find quickly. Tip number three, understand the different question types. The IELTS reading section includes various types of questions such as multiple choice, true, false, or not given, matching headings, and more. Familiarize yourself with these formats so that you know what to expect. For instance, 
with true, false, or not given questions, it's crucial to determine whether the information is explicitly stated in the passage or not. This can be a bit tricky, but practicing these types of questions will help you get better at them. Make sure if you ever need to write an answer that you use the correct spelling from the text to avoid spelling penalties. Tip number four, manage your time wisely. You have 60 minutes to read three passages and answer 40 questions. That's roughly 20 minutes per passage. Keep an eye on the clock and move on if you get stuck on a question. You can always come back to it later if you have time. But if you waste your time focusing on that one question for too long, you could miss all of the answers for your last reading passage. A good strategy is to spend about 15 minutes reading and answering the questions for each passage and then save the last five minutes for reviewing your answers or trying to go back to challenging questions. I recommend writing your answers directly on your answer sheet as you go, as you may not have the time to transfer your answers at the end. If you don't know the right answer, you can also try crossing out any answers that are clearly wrong, as that can help you guess correctly at the end if you are running out of time. Make sure that no matter what, you don't leave any answers blank, since there is no penalty for wrong answers, but you do have a chance to randomly guess the right answer correctly. Tip number five, improve your vocabulary. The IELTS reading section often includes complex texts with advanced vocabulary. Building a strong vocabulary will help you understand the passages better and answer the questions more accurately. One way that you can do this is by creating a vocabulary list with new words you encounter during your practice. Write down the definitions and try to use these words in sentences. This will help reinforce your learning. During the test, don't stress about understanding every word. Instead, Use the context to help you guess the meaning of the word that you don't know as you go through the text. Remember, practice makes perfect. Take as many practice tests as you can. This will not only help you familiarize yourself with the test format, but it will also help you identify your strengths and areas for improvement. Use resources like official IELTS practice materials online practice tests, and IELTS preparation books. These resources provide realistic practice opportunities and can help you track your progress. Many of these resources are available for free through your local library or online. As you practice, make sure that you practice the skills of skimming and scanning, understanding main ideas, opinions, and attitudes, and reading for detail in that time. There are a lot of techniques out there, so make sure that whatever technique you choose works for you and then practice it to get even more efficient at it. There you have it. Those are my top five tips for acing the reading portion of the IELTS test. With regular practice and these strategies, you'll be well on your way to achieving a great score. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more English learning and IELTS tips. Don't forget that you can always leave a comment below if you have any questions. Good luck with your studies, and I'll see you in the next video.